This week, we highlight another life well lived. On October 3rd, 1951, Bobby Thompson hit one of the most famous home runs in baseball history, the shot heard round the world, to lead the old New York Giants to the National League pennant over the Brooklyn Dodgers. After the game, a group of boys in Jersey City, New Jersey, ran outside to celebrate and to play a ball game of their own. 12-year-old Ed Lucas was the pitcher that day. After one pitch, he took a line drive to the face that eventually left him completely blind for life. Ed attended a local school for the blind and later hosted a sports radio show while attending Seton Hall University and earning a degree in communications. His plan was to cover baseball. But how? Ed often traveled with a guide who could describe the action to him. Fellow sports writers were stunned over the years that Ed could tell exactly where the ball had been hit based on the sound of the bat. He wrote for a number of publications over a long career spent covering the New York Yankees mostly. He was known for his player interviews and the game's biggest stars would make a point to find Ed on the field before a game. Thanks for making it better so our continuous success. Okay, Eddie, Thank thanks. You. All right. Thank you very much. Away from the stadium, Ed raised money through his foundation for blind people who needed seeing eye dogs. In 2006, Ed married his second wife, Allison, at home plate in Yankee Stadium. The couple was set up by Ed's longtime friend and Yankee legend, Phil Rizzuto. Ed Lucas, who wrote about the game he loved but could not see, died last week in Livingston, New Jersey. He was 82 years old. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.